every day at the Manikarnika Ghat, the largest and the most auspicious cremation ghat near the town of Varnasi in the state of Uttar Pradesh, which is located in northern India. Around 200 bodies are cremated on a wooden piers along the river's edge. The ghat, uh, there are steps that leading down to the holy water, which is uh, from river Ganga, operates around the clock every day of the year. A caste of untouchables, known as doms, are the caretakers as such of the gods, and their role is to protect the ever-burning flame at the temple. This flame is believed to have been created by Lord Shiva and has been burning for over 3,500 years. The doms provide the cremation packages, which includes the purchasing of essential woods that's needed to burn the bodies and assistance during the rituals. Sometimes the doms have to um, give the skull a bit of a whack during the cremation in order for the soul to be released properly. During the cremation ritual, special prayers or pujas are recited as well as hymns and mantras. The eldest son or the male family member is then required to light up the pyre from the ever-burning flame, which then starts the cremation fire. This process requires a lot of wood in order to cremate the body fully. So you can imagine what those uh, who cannot afford the wood must have to do have to go through. The richer you are, the more wood you can provide for your cremation. Once the cremation is complete, the ashes are burned and then scattered into the holy water Ganga, whereby moksha, that is the salvation, can be achieved. In Hindu traditions, cremation is one of the rites of passage and the ghats of Varanasi are considered one of the most auspicious locations for this ritual. At the time of cremation or the last rites, a puja or a prayer is performed, hymns and mantras are recited during the cremation to mark the rituals. The Manikandika ghat, which is always at work, whether it's a day or night. At this ghat, there are logs stacked everywhere in piles, like 7 and 8 feet long, and the wood is dark brown, hacked roughly to the length of above 5 feet. In the street above, the guards, the wood is stacked against the buildings. There is more wood in the piles by the river and more arriving at the time in open boats that are moored by river bank. Slight built men step barefoot over the logs in the boats, each one loaded down with a pile of logs across their back. They make their way up the short sandy bank past the fires and up the piles of wood to replenish them. They offload their logs and make them make their way back to the river while other men build the stack of wood in an endless cycle. There are 10 or 12 fires on the carts, burning in shallow ashy pits. Each one is a cremation. The obligation to light the funeral fire falls on the closest male family member. After he and other family members bathe the body in Ganges, it is wrapped in a piece of cloth and placed on top of air, where it is doused in a butter oil and sandalwood dust. The eldest male mourner goes first to the small nondescript fire that is in the entrance to the temple just to be behind the fire pits. It is said that this fire has been burning continuously for 3,000 years. He makes a bundle of reeds taken from a large pile of reeds that fills a recess and he lights his bundle from the fire. Then he walks down to the body on the pier, walks around it a number of times and then lights the fire. His last job is to take water in the clay pot from the Ganges with which the, he throws over his shoulder back on the body he does this five times and the final time he throws the pot itself it breaks and it ends his relationship with the deceased creates a lot of 
it takes a lot of wood to burn a body properly and the cremation takes about three hours domes men from a class of untouchables who work at the funeral guards turn and move the logs to ensure the burning is complete the ribs of men and hips on bones of women rarely burn away to nothing they are collected by the dome so the ribs of men and hip bones of women rarely burn away to nothing they are collected by the dons and deposited in the ganges early in the morning each day there are hundreds of men at ghat there are no women here even the wife of the deceased stays at home there is a smoke everywhere and a steady trickle of ash two or up to 300 people are cremated here each day and cremations continue e every single day of the year a hundred a few hundred yards south of this ghat is another smaller burning ghat it is simple affair and from a distance looks simply like bodies burned on the beach cremation purifies the sexual so only married women and men are cremated holy men children those who are unmarried those bitten by snake and others who are pregnant are weighed down with a stone and lowered directly into ganges for hindus it is simple it, it is good to die and be cremated in varanasi cremation must take place within 24 hours of death so trucks are sometimes seen coming into the city from Uh, other towns with the bodies lying on the open back of the trucks and the, only the relatives standing around the deceased the type of wood used to build the pyres depends on the family's choice the richer prefer sandal wood while the poorer are happy with any kind of wood bodies are generally dressed in a white shroud and sacred ash called vibhuti and is applied on the forehead flowers are also used to adorn the body Typically domes will receive 20 to 50 bodies a day. There are days when I earn up to 300 rupees that's 450 dollars and there are days when I made more than 6000 rupees which is 92 dollars said the dome Shyam Chaudhary. When a corpse enters the cremation ground you will see about 5 to 10 individuals around the body. one tries to negotiate a good price for the firewood while others sell ghee intense sticks flowers and the other material needed for cremation once the corpse burns completely the young children from the dom family collects the clothes or the jewels of the corpse and sell it in the shops any wood and other material which have been not used for the incrication are also sold or used in the dom household